Hey guys, coming at you again with another Bible review. I just got this in the mail today. The New King James Version Faith Life, Faith Life Illustrated Study Bible. I was trying to find another study Bible to pick up just because, for one, I don't know where my other one walked off to. And I found that this was illustrated and I really enjoyed the pictures as I was looking at this on the internet. So I felt like buying it. Uh, so... As I said, I got it today. Um, it is the New King James Version. Um, it does lay flat, it says, and I have tested it, and it does. Um, there are a couple pictures of the illustration. And uh, the pictures are made by uh, Logos. I've never heard of them, but they're a Bible software. The makers of Logos Bible software. So these are really just these are pictures that created were created by them, so I assume that if you got the software, you could get the pictures from there, but it's actually in the Bible, so it's, you can carry it around with you wherever you go. There is the back of the box, and go for it, and this is in red letter text, and it is a premium <coughs> bonded leather. Um, there is the, the, uh, the barcode, the ISBN, sorry, you like that? Get that. The retail says 80 bucks. I paid 40 for this. And that was on Amazon. So, half off. <laughs> so, it's great to be able to actually live in today's generation when you can buy stuff off the internet for half price instead of having to travel the distance to go. Um, so, there's what the side looks like. And it is a pretty, pretty hefty Bible. But I enjoy it. I like it, and I like the feel of it. I've never had a premium leather Bible, and the feel is, it's, I don't know how to explain it, uh, but it feels nice. It's its smooth and silky. I guess that's the closest I can get to it. And one thing I noticed out of the blue was the gilding on this is silver, okay? However, when I opened it up, it's pink. It has pink under the silver. Or you can call that red. I call it pinkish red. Whatever. Um, but anyway, to dig into the actual Bible, there's, of course, the presentation page that almost every Bible has. Um, Psalm 19, 119, 105, Scripture. Again, there's the cover. And it's there's a lot of color in this. And I, from what I, from what I've seen so far, I really like it. There's the table of contents. Then it goes into the table of visual contents. So if you want to find a specific um, visual content, it actually has the books and where you can actually find them, which is very convenient. And I actually really like that. Uh, where you can find your large timelines. And again, these are visual. So they're kind of pictured and drawed out timelines, people diagrams, um, tables, um, 10 plagues on Egypt, and then the table of contents, articles, so how to study the Bible, the formation of the Old Testament, um, stuff like that, alphabetical list of the books of the Bible, um, and again this is new so the pages are sticking. And there's the editorial team, the abbreviations, uh, editor's preference page, and uh, just the basic stuff. I mean, you get the opening and Old Testament text, etc. Et so the formation of the Old Testament, again, it's, like I said, the old, oh, it's a lot of color. So, before I get to that... Here's a brief timeline of biblical history. I don't know if you guys like visual graphs, but I do, because it helps me and saves me a lot of time putting one together myself. And honestly, when I put one together, it's not as good as the ones you'd find in a study Bible. So, it's just really extremely convenient. Um, so, I have to study the Bible. So, this is one thing I really like. So, this is the opening of Genesis. Of course, there's a... Um, the beginning page of Genesis, and it has a map, and um, 
can go through all that information. I really, really like that. This is one thing that actually draw, drew me, drawn me, whatever, to this Bible. Just, I mean, there's a lot of color and a lot of detail. Um, so it's got the ancient Hebrew conception of the universe. And that's awesome. That is awesome. Just, it's a layout of how God created the world, the world in picture format. See the days of creation, day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so, continue to just go through the Bible. And the headings are in blue. I like the blue. And then the footnotes, the commentary section, the line is kind of a kind of a dark ninja turtle green, I would say. And there's a lot of bold text. Um, so, and the notes so far are pretty good. I mean, I don't I don't expect to agree with all of them. Um, I never have. So, the notes are good. Good commentary notes. Um, so, we just continue to go through, and then here's a nice, and there's actually two, two ribbons, just a black ribbon, nice black ribbon, don't really know what else to say about it, nice ribbon, so you can keep one in the Old Testament, one in the New Testament, there's two of them, um, so, as we skim on through, I have some sticky notes, putting between some pages, specifically to show you guys something. Oh wow, I didn't see that. <clears throat> um, this is in Isaiah, the the teal dance dally. I don't. This engraved stone is only archaeological evidence of King David to be discovered. I actually think here recently they actually found something else that connected to David, another piece of stone that talked about him. So I don't know. I don't know if this is what they're talking about or what, but. It's really awesome, man. I mean, I always think that it's good when you talk with unbelievers, especially I used to work with one at Walmart who wanted evidence for stuff, and um, I would provide it. You know, there's archaeological evidence for that would back up Scripture and um, fulfill prophecies, and of course, even though when I provided that, it was still kind of a waste of time because it turned into an argument more than it was seeking for the truth, I believe. But God bless him, still love the guy, you know. Okay, so here's a picture of the ancient Israelite house. Um, and this is in Jeremiah. So, I mean, guys, this is an awesome Bible. I don't know why you wouldn't want to pick this up. Use it daily, have it a part of your library. I don't know, get the hardcover. I, just, you just would want to get this Bible. It's really illustrated. Or, again, if you have the Bible software, the, the, uh, the logos... From the makers, yeah. I assume the pictures are in there. So I'm going to skim real fast to the the New Testament. Well, after this one. I put a sticky note right there. I thought this was cool. Symbolic names of people in Hebrew. Um, you have Ishmael, which means God hears. Then you find the reference. And you go all the way down the list of all these names. Really awesome, man. Uh, so kind of help you understand the meanings of the words, uh, the names of people. Uh, it's really cool. I mean, I was I could see a preacher benefiting from this. Um, so, we're kind of all preachers, aren't we, in a sense? But you know what I mean. There's your other ribbon. So, here, oh, and it also has these little little sections that talk about um, groups of people, <clears throat> like the Moabites, a little information on them, and then has one specifically talking about Ahab, so here we are, the New Testament, it's got, I like the green, because it's got a mixture of greens, light green, medium green, dark green, I would say, and it's got a nice, bold text, I really like that. So, formation of the New Testament kind of goes through the history of that, what we call the New Testament 27 document collection. Um, I'll let you kind of go through that if you decide to buy one. Um, the sy 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 Synoptic bleh, Gospels and Acts. I uh, actually just had a class on that for my college class. 
And it goes through that. I mean, it's really cool, man. So, you got Matthew. And that's it. And then you got the visual graph again. So, here we are. And then the bolt, the text on this, I believe, I don't know, I believe is a, a 9. Somewhere around there. I could be way off. I'm sorry if I am. So, uh, so this has right here. Get that in better light, maybe. I don't know. Women and Jesus geology, uh, genealogy. So you got Tamar, Rahab, Ruth. Uh, yeah. And so that's what Herod the Great. You got a section written on him. So I'm gonna go to my sticky note. So I thought this was cool. Temple comparison. So this kind of gives Solomon's temple. Zoom in. It's Solomon's temple. What that looked like. And then, got good old Herod's temple. Oh, if I'd say good. No, I would not say good. So I apologize for that. So, got the temple comparison. It's got a graph on how they, the comparison, how big they were, how they looked. It's really cool. Then, this is cool, I thought. Got Jerusalem. What Jerusalem looked like. The city of Jerusalem back in these days. I mean, isn't that awesome? I don't know about you guys, but this may be too much for some people looking for a study Bible. This may have too much material and be distracting. I got to admit, it caught me off it, it caught me off guard a little bit. I kind of expected for there to be a lot in this. And it is a little distracting at times, but hey, if you don't have to get, get on Google and buy other books to find this material, if you can have it in the Bible as you study, have at it, man. And it is red letter, again. I know. I love red letter. I'm growing up with it, so that's kind of why I'm used to it. And then another picture of Herod's temple. Kind of more in-depth and pretty neat. Um, then here's uh, kind of a timeline. Jesus' passion and resurrection. <laughs> Starts with him riding on a donkey, and then temple, um, religious leader conspire against Jesus type of thing. Um, it kind of just goes on and on. on. That's awesome, dude. So I don't know about you guys in the miracles of Jesus. Um, we'll get to the end of the book. You got tables and monies and weights and measures. Um, and then, of course, you have your concordance. So, um, and again, to show that it is premium leather, bonded leather, no, I'm sorry. That is what it says, and that is what it feels like. I've owned bonded leathers before, and it just don't, you know what I mean, uh, feel like that. So, I know that sometimes receiving Bibles, even though when you pay good money for them, they don't come in perfect condition, because, like, I'm noticing there's a little crease right there, but am I going to let that keep me up at night? Yeah, probably, but oh well. We'll be alright. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you buy one of these. These are pretty cool. Um, I'm going to use it. Here I go. God bless you guys.